So this is called I'm Everything You Need after listening to June Jordan at Arlington Gardens. After her reading in the neighborhood coffee shop, barely sprinkled with people going in and out at the small table designated for her to sign books, halfway happy to be signing a book and halfway crying, she said to me, I'm so embarrassed because nobody came but thank you for coming. And I said to her in the way that I say things, ain't I somebody? Ain't I exactly who you came for? Ain't I a human being with two open hands, two open brown ears, two bold and beautiful eyes waiting to take home what it took you two years to put together? Ain't I one more beautiful soul waiting patiently for you to change my life? waiting diligently for you to say something that I will remember and repeat to my grandchildren when they come begging me for wisdom? Ain't I enough man for the beauty and patience of your starving ego? I know you probably wanted this place to be full, but I am full of light and love and energy and a hunger for great sentences. And aren't we a pair, you and I? You giving and I receiving, you pouring out and I taking in. Am I not the true evidence of this ancient idea people say but don't really believe when they say that if you can reach one person, change one life, brighten one person's day, I have done my job. Am I not your job today? This coffee shop could probably seat maybe 40 and if you did your duty, if you filled my belly with enough paragraphs for me to chew on for generations, then this work will endure. And dig this, if I have six children, and those children have six children, and those children have three children, and more, maybe your book will stay on the shelf and get passed around at family barbecues and weddings and funerals. And haven't you reached that goal? Haven't you touched enough people? You should rejoice in the single seat. Clap and shout and dance for the gas I paid and the parking I paid and the clothes I ironed and chose to come to hear you. And if God is in us all, didn't God show up to your book reading? Aren't you reading poems to God? <laughs> 